All right, I am one classes. Starting our new unit with uh, solving linear systems. Uh, a linear system, or also called a system of equations, is just uh, two or more equations that you solve at the same time. Uh, what we're gonna do in this class in IM1, all we do is deal with two equations at the same time, but in other classes, IM3 or pre-calc, you do uh, work with uh, three or more sometimes, but we're just dealing with two. Uh, we are gonna learn how to solve these equations by graphing. And so let's look at this, what it means to be the solution to a system of equations, all right? So we have a system of equations, when we get to solve them algebraically, you know, by solving them, uh, they'll be in the standard form. But right now, we're going to look at them in y equals mx plus b because that's the easiest to graph. So to solve a system of equations, so again, you have two equations. Uh, the solution is going to be where the graphs of those equations intersect. So we have um, the two equations. So this equation here, y equals negative 2x plus 2. That is this line here. Then there is y equals 2x minus 6. That's going to be this line here. The solution to these equations is going to be where they intersect. So here is the solution. All right, the point, it's, I cover it up, but it's 2, negative 2. Um, you could also write it as uh, x equals 2, y equals negative 2. But the solution, again, is going to be where the lines intersect. So let's look at a couple of examples. These examples are from your assignment today in Edge Elastic. So uh, make sure when you're looking at that assignment, you can refer to these. Make sure you're doing it right. Uh, but <clears throat> first, we're going to graph and then find the solution. So starting off, I'm going to do this line in blue. So we have uh, the slope of this line is 1 fourth. The B value, since it's minus 3, the B value, the y-intercept is negative 3. So I start this line at negative 3. And since it's a slope of 1 fourth, that means I go up 1 to the right 4 from the starting point. Up 1, right, 1, 2, 3, 4. All right? <clears throat> and then you connect the dots. Um, in Edge Elastic, you only need to plot two dots. If I was doing this by hand, well, I am doing it by hand, but if I was doing this on uh, a piece of paper, I would plot as many dots as it would fit, but Edge Elastic only allows you to do two. So we're just going to do two. Uh, the next line I'm going to do in green. So the slope of the next line is five fourths. The B value is positive one. So that means I'm going to start at one as a starting point. And then uh, the slope is five over four, so I go up one to the, or excuse me, up five to the right four from the starting point. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Put a point, connect those dots with a solid line. And there you go. And now the solution, the answer to these is where they intersect. That's going to be at this point here. It's going to be a lot easier to tell in Edge Elastic when you do this. Um, but the solution that's at the point negative 4, negative 4. All right. Let's look at another example. So graph the system of equations. So same thing. Uh, the slope on this one is negative 5 over 4. I'm going to put the negative on top of the 5. The B value, the starting point, is at 1. The y-intercept is at 1, so that's here. And since it's a negative 5, I'm going to count down 5 to the right 4 from the starting point. Down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. To the right, 1, 2, 3, 4. Put a point connect the dots with a straight line. I'm going to do the next line in blue. So in blue, the slope is negative one-fourth. The B value, the starting point, is going to be at y equals negative three. So that's right here. Since it's negative one-fourth, I'm going to go down one to the right four. So down one to the right one, two, three, four, and they actually share this point here. So that's going to make it easy find that spot. So the solution, when you graph it, 
is where the lines intersect. So that solution is going to be at the point 4, negative 4. So x is 4, y is negative 4. So 4, negative 4. Now here's the solution. A couple more examples, all right? Just a reminder what to do if the line, if it has a uh, whole number slope, so the slope is five, the B value is negative two. So I'm gonna start at Y equals negative two, that's this point here. Plot the other point using the slope. The slope is five. Slope, remember we want two numbers for the slope because the slope tells us the rise over the run. Uh, to make this a fraction so we know what the run is, I'm going to put it over one. And so the rise is five, so I'm gonna count up five to the right one from the starting point. Up one, two, three, four, five to the right one. Put a point and then connect your dots with a straight line. Do this one in green. So since it's a negative X, that means the slope is negative one. The B value, is four, the y-intercept, the starting point is at positive four, so I'm gonna start there. Since it's negative, since it's a whole number, I wanna make it a fraction so I can see the rise and the run. So I'm gonna put it over one, all right? Since it's a negative one, I'm gonna count down one and then to the right one from the starting point. Down one, right one, and they share the spot again. They share a line or the point, so that makes that simple. There we go, uh, and the solution is one, three. X is one, Y is three. So you're just finding where the lines intersect. That point right there. Last example, right? So uh, we have um, whole numbers again. So uh, slope on this one is negative six. The B value is negative two. So I'm gonna start at y equals negative two down here. Make the slope a fraction, so negative six over one. Since it's negative, I'm gonna count down one, or excuse me, down six to the right one. So down six, one, two, three, four, five, six, to the right one. Put a point, and then connect the dots with a straight line. Do this one in blue. Again, since it's negative x, that means the slope is negative one. The b value is positive three. So I'm gonna go here. Um, since it's an, uh, a whole number, I'm gonna put it over one. So I'm gonna go down one to the right one from the starting point. Down one, right one. And I actually think I, I'm a little off with this line. Should be over more like that. There we go. Um, because when I connect these dots, and again, it'll be much more obvious and edge elastic because it, it, it'll put in a perfectly straight line that goes exactly to the points. When I put this in, um, I need to adjust that a little bit. And this is one of the reasons why I do multiple points if I was doing this on a piece of paper, but it's going to intersect at this point right here. So here's the point of intersection that is at negative one, four. Made that really big, but that's where the solution is, at that point where the two lines come together. Oops. Yeah, that's fine. So negative one, four, where the, where the, where the, the two lines come together. So the assignment's on edge elastic. Uh, these four, four problems are straight from the assignment. So if you need to refer to how to do them, um, here's uh, the solutions to them. Uh, finish your assignment. And then other than that, we'll see you all next time.